everybody back here again for another random rant and today's rant I'm not really sure if I'm complaining more about the customer or the employee but I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of tell you what happened and let you guys decide who's as much of an idiot or more of an idiot so just left the um, Dollar Tree which is basically a Dollar General type store everything's a buck um, don't expect a lot there but you find some cool little stuff every once in a while like I found a few things I needed picked up a, a puzzle for my grandma things like that that you don't want to spend 10 bucks on that she's gonna put together once and never you know bother using again so definitely little things like that were great I found a little back rest thing for my mom and that for a buck so what can you you know can't complain much but I got up there and there's probably eight people in front of me in line one lady's um, basically working the checkout counter and that counter one counter two lights on saying they're open but there's nothing there just the kid sitting there he looks like he's about 18 20 years old texting away on his phone just having himself a good old time and the lights on though so it kind of seems strange i know it's everybody else in line there is you know waiting so i kind of waited next people moved up next people moved up and you wouldn't think it'd take that long but surprisingly it takes quite a while to check people out of here so definitely kind of pain in the butt but oh well um having to notice that this kid's still sitting here just texting not doing crap and having to go excuse me is this line open whatever because your light's on and he's like oh well yeah uh but no i'm waiting for a customer she didn't have any money she had around to the car and get her money so i said okay you know whatever kind of thing so i said there stuff and it's already at this point been at least three or four minutes since i've been standing there if not longer than that because i walked up everybody else had already not went that line had already went over got their line so i'm guessing at least five minutes has passed by now and I see her stuff, so I happen to just kind of waiting around. I finally know, I said, you know, if you turned off the light, you would at least inform everybody else, like myself and behind me, that this line's no longer technically open because you stand here to thumb your butt isn't really open. So he reached out, he goes, oh, okay, whatever. So he flips off the thing, goes right back to texting people on his phone again, which is also kind of annoying. When you're at work, if you're not trying to tell the cops that your building's on fire or there's a shooter in your bank, you don't need to be texting your phone. That's, in my personal opinion, but it's a whole different subject here than that but again the lady still never flying comes in a couple more people get to the checkout one couple in front of me a couple women um so i only had a few items i think i had like four or five items in my hand i think it's five items in my hand and they asked me if i wanted to go ahead and go first because the fact they had an entire cart full of stuff they were nice enough and i thanked them graciously for that and i went ahead and went and paid for my stuff and while i was leaving finally the woman leaned over and she goes she heard the conversation between me and him a little bit and she goes how long has it been and he said it's all oh, probably been about two minutes and i said how long do you wait it's been the way longer than two minutes you know and the woman goes well we try and get everybody the you know common courtesy that you know wait a little longer maybe we should but the problem is now they got this kid sitting here getting paid to do nothing he's just sitting around not doing nothing also annoying more customers we're all backed up behind there. there's probably four people behind me where there should be two checkout lines so how long do you wait for a woman buying a few items to come back their money and the woman's like well we probably waited long enough we can go ahead and just the heck with it it wasn't like it was the one last item and she was going to die without this. You set her stuff off the side, you void it out, and then when she comes back, one of two things. If your cashier doesn't have a suspend mechanism on it, so you just hit that button again, void it out. There's going to be not that many items. It couldn't be nearly as many items going to take you to make us all wait for her. So void them back out. Leave it set there. Don't go put her stuff back on the shelf. I'm fine with that. But not only is he being an idiot, he's lazy, he don't care. He's getting paid by the hour. He don't give a damn. The manager woman who was running the main aisle working her butt off should have been, you know, like, hey, okay, let's go ahead and open it back up and tell us herself. But also I'm kind of pissed off at the customer who tells them, oh, I got money in my car. I'm broke as shit. My car didn't work or whatever the hell the thing was. I got money in my car and this runs away and doesn't find any money. So I don't know if she was going to run home and come back. And had the common courtesy to step back in and go, I'm sorry, I don't have any money in my car either. I'll be back tomorrow or I'll be back in an hour or whatever you got to do. Don't leave this kid sitting here because had I not said nothing, I almost could guarantee it'd be at least 15, 20 minutes. This kid would be sitting here texting his buddies and shit, doing nothing. So he's a bit of a douchebag. The customer for running away is a douchebag also. So I'm just pissed off when people don't have the common courtesy to look at other people. Take a second back and look at everybody else around you and kind of see what would make other people uncomfortable and try to avoid that stuff. So anyway, that's that's all I got for right now. I'll talk to you guys hopefully not very soon, but you never know with this. So thanks for letting me blow off a little steam here, and I hope you don't piss me off. But thanks for watching. Feel free to have yourself a safe and wonderful day, and good luck to you.